Hey guys and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use the input function in Python. So in the last video, we learned how to create variables and we learned about data types. So we can create a variable called name and assign its values to be equals to ransom. You can also create a variable called age and assign its value to equals to, to 20. So this is an integer and this is a string. So what we want to do is to let the user input his or right name and as well let the user input his or right age. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a variable called name. You can name it whatever you like and set its value equals to input. So what the input function does is it lets the user input a string. So let's uh, print out name that's when after we input then let's run this and let me input a uh, Branson let me input Branson and you can see Branson but, but in most cases you would want to tell the user what to input so you can write a text to the person and just say you can say hey please uh, input your name so we're gonna say please enter your name so when you do that it's gonna ask the user please enter your name and let's actually put a column there so let's make it more readable and we're gonna print out uh the type name so this is gonna tell us if it's a string or an integer or whatever so let's say branson and give us class str which is trying to say this is a string and it gave us our name Branson which is name so as you can see it give us the text please enter your name so let's add the user to input his or her age so age input uh, input uh just say uh please enter your age and we want to print the type of age so we're going to say print type age and we want to print age so if we run this it's going to ask us for our name and say name is Branson I am 14 years old and you can see that it gave us class str which Branson is a text is a string and class ser which for thing is a string so but when you input in your age you need it to be an integer so what you have to do is uh, to convert this to an integer so you can say int input and do that okay so what this does is whenever you input your age it holds it then it converts whatever you input it to an integer as we learned in the previous videos so it converts it to an integer so when we run this it's asking me for my name my name is Branson and my age so when we run this it's gonna ask me for my name my name is Branson and my age and I am 14 years old so you can see they gave me class str and class int before both of them were strings so now what we did is convert this to an integer so let's print out some good text so we can say uh your name is sorry your name is name and you can print out and you are say your age um let's say you are whatever you input years old so what we'll do is years old and if you run this you're gonna see let's say your name my name is Branson and I'm 14 years old so you're gonna see class str class int as we have seen and your name is Branson and you are 14 years old so let's make it more fun so we can say uh you are eight years old 
and in 20 years you will be let's say you would be um that's to be age plus 20 so whatever you input which is your age and we're gonna add 20 to it so in 20 years you're gonna be your age plus 20 so when we run this we're gonna ask us for a name we're gonna say my name is branson your age and 14 years old and you can see your name is branson you are 14 years old and in 20 years you would be 34. so let's say we want to get the first letter in your name so what we can do is a uh, print out name and we're gonna put a square bracket and the number so let's say we want to get it first so we can tell the computer to print out the first letter of your name so computer starts to count at zero so what you can do is uh run this and you're gonna see for my name my name is Branson sorry about that my name is Branson please enter your age um I'm 14 years old and you can see B so B is the first letter of my name so and what if I want to get uh, the second number the second layer of my name so we're gonna say one as computer starts count at zero so zero is one one is two and so forth so you can say my name is Branson Sorry, my name is Branson I'm 40 years old and you can see R so R is the second letter of my name so I can also get the last letter of my name so we can see minus one so what that gonna do is uh let's say Branson age and forty years old so you're gonna give me n so what that does is this is one and we turn the computer to start to count so we start it we count it from the front so we're gonna start counting from the back so you're gonna start counting backwards so this is minus one minus two minus three so if i want to get o which is the second to the last we run this you're gonna see uh my name is branson 14 years old 154 so you can see o so o is the second to the last and before i forget if i enter a letter or a symbol rather than a number and for example i enter i it's, you can see it gave me a value error so you can convert a string which is not a number to an integer so if you give it a symbol or letter is going to give you an error so that's it for this video guys please smash the like button share it to your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video